what I'm going to do Go here ahead, is put it in like five rib sections. And so I'm just going to basically cut open the, the actual sealed pack here. I usually use St. Louis style ribs because they're usually the, the flattest to go in between the uh, pieces of metal the here. Okay. The plates that are on the device, yes. Okay. And then basically at that point I'll just cut that five rib section off here. Okay, do to, not cut yourself. I'm trying to avoid that. <laughs> so basically what we're demonstrating today is a device that will allow you to practice chest tubes. Yes. All right. So you can do it in different ways. You can use our device, our, our, our device called the reactor, or you can do just regular manual chest tube insertions. So this particular device, or a version of it, um, mm -hmm. you were saying this was an earlier version, but this particular device can be used for training on Different regular, types of regular, yeah, chest, regular tubes, chest tube insertion, or, yes. Or the other device that we're going to show here in a minute. Correct, yes. So this is the T3 from Sharp Medical Products. It's a rib demonstration model to be used for doing chest tube insertion. Um, you can do it with our product called the Reactor, which is a chest tube insertion device, or you could even demonstrate this in a traditional open chest tube insertion method. So what we want to do today is kind of demonstrate how we're setting it up so that you can see... Uh, the different aspects of it. Now prior to doing it, what you want to do is make sure that you make enough room to put a, ri a piece of ribs in and you also want to get St. Louis style ribs for the model so that it's a more realistic, it's a flatter rib and it slides into here a little easier and then you're able to uh, then insert the ribs and, and secure them in place. And you can see now I've got it secured in place. Okay. All right, now what I'm going to do now is, is basically tighten down so that the rib holds in place. So are the, are the ribs going vertical or are they going horizontal? Right now I have them going vertical, but okay. you could actually have them going horizontal. You can position them whichever way you want. Now that we've done that, what we're going to end up doing is putting on our skin or a, a skin type cover so that they're replicating the idea that they would be making a skin incision. Okay. So now we're going to remove the front plate here to allow us to lay the skin in position. That plate comes off. All right. We put our skin on like so and then put the plate back on over the top and as you can see now the skin is secured there. You know, it will not move. And that's what we want to replicate. We want to replicate you're having skin right over the top of your ribs in the muscle. We're going to demonstrate the reactor today okay. for the purpose of this particular demonstration. The reactor comes in a seal pack. It's actually two seal packs. The first one, you just open that up, take the product out. Again, open the second seal pack, take that out, and you have the reactor with a sleeve on it. It already comes packed just like this, ready to go. Okay. Okay. That has a scalpel blade on the inside. Again, that's the reactor. So what is the reactor? It's a minimally invasive chest tube insertion device. What, we, what it allows us to do, instead of doing the open method where you're taking all the time going over the rib and then, uh, you know, taking all that time to prep and everything, you make their skin incision with this. It goes directly in. It's basically a direct in insertion. As soon as you feel the given to the pleural space, you angle it towards the apex of the lung or wherever you're trying to have that chest tube go to, and then slide the device out that allows you to use the sleeve to insert the chest tube. Okay. So that's what we're trying to do with this device as okay. opposed to the open method, which obviously takes a lot more time and you're ripping muscle and everything. This is not going to rip, it's just gonna do a small cut through that muscle. So, okay. Okay. So there's been a lot of research on this? Uh, we are doing several human trials right now. Um, it was actually went through a 510K clearance, so it came through as because it's basically like a trocar insertion, yes. a bladed trocar insertion. The nice part about this is that the blade retracts without having to manually retract it. So right. it automatically does This it is the FDA spring. approved? It's FDA approved. It's FDA cleared is the FDA correct terminology cleared. for it. Okay. Here's a reactor. Again, like I said, what we have here is if I fire this device, there's a little blade that comes out and does a carving motion. And it's very hard to see on film. Hopefully it can be 
Maybe we slow it down a little bit so you can see that, but that's what happens. It comes out and does a carving motion. That allows us to carve through the muscle layers and then eventually enter the pleural space as soon as so we you, feel you the actually give. pulled that trigger multiple yep. times as you're going through correct and okay. even if i squeeze it and hold it like so the blade is not exposed so we'll take out a chest tube this is a 32 french this is a 32 french chest tube again the reactor will fit up to a 36. so obviously this is the end that goes through slides through and then this slides over selbinger style okay all right, so we're going to make that skin incision with a with a scalpel. So with our device, it does not do the skin. So we want to make sure we make an initial skin incision. So we want to feel for the ribs, make a skin incision in between. So we make it large enough to get the device through. Now basically, we want to insert it and do a two-handed technique, essentially. So we fire it. And then I felt the give, so now I'm in the plural space. Now I can angle it towards the apex, okay, so we slide that out, and then we take the chest tube, slide it in, all the way through, so it starts heading towards the apex of the line, and then once we're positioning where we want it, we slide the, the sleeve over the top, Seldinger style, and now we have our chest tube in, we can now suture it in position. So we have a smaller clicks? incision. This is a smaller hole, and we did it a lot faster. How many clicks did you go through? I did about six on that one. Okay. But it, sometimes it can be three. If it's a smaller patient, it can be ten. If it's a larger patient, but you just kind of feel yourself going through the tissue, right. and as soon as you feel any give at all, stop firing, and you should be able to slide it forward. If it catches it all, sometimes the sleeve might catch on a rib. You may have to twist it a little, but normally that's not the case. Okay. Okay. So you can actually, with this model, you can actually do multiple rib yeah. attempts. Yeah. So if you have this device for your residency to mm -hmm. train them on um, putting in chest tubes, you... You, you, would be able, you would be able to do multiple attempts at it. You would be able to um, do maybe three, four, five in this yeah. space and then slide the ribs up a little bit so that you could do another section of five ribs. It really is, you can have a few more ribs and allow it to go both ways if you okay. wanted. Hey, and all you do is loosen it. And so someone's going to say, well, what about the, the costal nerves and arteries and so forth? Uh, you're obviously So what we're trying to do with that. this device is it's designed intuitively so that if we run directly parallel between the ribs, we stay away from the nerve bundle yeah. naturally. Yeah. by starting in the middle and just pushing the tissue to the side as we go in and as soon as you feel the give you've you've avoided the, that nerve bundle and now you can just angle it towards the apex okay good well, let's okay. see let's see you do it again let's do it again all right so let's find another one and again i'm just feeling for for ribs and i found another spot i like so i'll make a skin incision there just large enough it doesn't have to be as a matter of fact that might even be a little larger than we had to have it but we basically just want to insert it into that position, fire it, and then I think I just felt a give. Yep, there I am. I'm in. Just like that. I only had two, two, two poles that time. Two poles. Yes. Yeah. So that was easily went through the muscle. Yeah, that was the thinner section on yeah. that ribs. Uh -huh. But you're right. Okay, good. Yeah, it went right through. So now again, just like before, I take this, the inner gearing out, slide the chest tube in, aiming it towards the apex of the lung, and then essentially slide my chest to sleeve over, Seldinger style, remove it, and now we're aiming towards that area. Okay. Okay?